Hello my friends and welcome to the Emmanuel Lutheran Sunday School Show. I am your host, Mr. Steve. Today we're going to talk about John 12, verses 20 through 33. It's been a long time in America since we've lived under the rule and power of a king. It's been more than 200 years. That's a long time before you were born, and I was born, and our parents were born. In fact, it is a long time before anyone here was born. It is hard for us to understand what life with a king or queen is like. What do you think of when you think of a king? Jesus is sometimes called a king, yet he didn't look like one. He didn't wear a crown. He wore the same kind of clothes everyone else was wearing. He didn't live in a palace or a castle. He lived in an ordinary house and often slept on the road as he traveled with his disciples. He didn't sit on a throne with lots of guards and servants watching out for his safety and well-being. He wasn't married to a queen. He didn't seem to come from a royal family. When Jesus and his followers talked about Jesus and the kingdom of heaven, they were puzzled. If Jesus is a king, why doesn't he look like a king? They wondered that often. In today's Bible story, a group of people who were interested in Jesus but weren't quite sure about him came to the disciples and asked questions about this new king. They wanted to see Jesus in all of his kingly splendor. Jesus answered them in a way which would not make sense to them at the time, but would become clear in the very near, near future. His words were hard to understand. Jesus told them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. And he said something, some other things too. We just read the story from the Bible. But not much of it made sense to the people who asked the questions. They must have been thinking, why doesn't he answer our question? What is the big secret? His words can still puzzle us today. What Jesus is saying to all these curious people is, just wait and see. Jesus knew that something important was about to happen. If he told them exactly what was to happen, it wouldn't have made it any easier for his listeners. They might have seen more, oh, they might have been more con curious and confused and maybe a little bit scared. So let's you and I do what Jesus says. Let's wait and see. And what happens in church in the next couple weeks. And maybe then we will look at Jesus and see a king. Now, before we say goodbye, let's fold our hands and bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for sending Jesus to be our true king. And we can't wait to see what happens in the next couple weeks. In your heavenly name, we pray. Amen. So. Until next time, my friends, be kind and do good. Bye.